First and foremost, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another installment of Hip Hops with the Home Brews. So now, let's get into it. Without further ado, let's get to the brew. Let's see what we got here today. We got uh, Glitter Parts IPA Mango Colada. Mango. This is from uh, Levent, Levente Brewing Company. Let's see if we know where they are. Mango Redbone, Levent. right here. LeventeBrewing.com out of Westchester, PA. Okay. Let's do this. So if you're in Westchester, PA, check them out. So, okay, it's Mango Colada. So Brewed right with mango, coconut flakes, okay. vanilla. Hey, let's just get to this, man. Let's see uh, if okay. this is some hip hop. What, what, without further ado, let's get to the brew. It's a 7%. <laughs> Easy now. Easy now. Whole lot of hops going on over there. You get the mango? I, I, I got foam. I'm done. <laughs> oh, some good foam though. Come on, let's, let's just calm down. <clears throat> Look at that pour. Not, not my best pour. Let's see, but we got uh, good bubbles, nice even, even bubbles. Uh, I would say uh, nice size, nice color, a little hazy. This is hip hops with the home brews. So, speaking to me musically. And if I would say, this remind me of a hip hop song? Which one? It would have to be Drake's Hell Yeah. I take it you like it. I like it. I like it. Let's see. Uh... I don't really like IPAs too much, but uh, for an IPA, I, I really do like this one. It's not as bitter, smooth. It was, um, let me see. The name is throwing me off though. Glitter parts, but mango colada brings it right back in though. So, let me see. Uh, definitely getting some of that vanilla in there. I got it all. I got the vanilla, got the mango. It's pretty good for a flavored IPA. I give it five hops. And our hop scaling system is based at five being the best. So you're already giving it a best of a five I, I out give of it five? five hops. I like it. Five out of five hops. Okay, well, let's see. Uh it's smooth. <clears throat> uh the mango's there. Definitely getting the vanilla. Like it very clean, not much of an aftertaste. I don't know if I'm getting a lot of the coconut. Let me see. That's what you worried about the coconut. Now I'm, trying, I'm just trying to get all the flavors that they're telling me they're giving. That's the colada part. Never mind, it's doing not, what it, it do. just be It just be mango minus the colada. But they, you know, they say colada, so maybe it's more coconut scented and mango flavor. Maybe that's why you're not tasting the coconut. I, I smell the coconut and the mango. It might be my nose is off. Yeah, this is definitely Drake's Hell Yeah and Wayne. Red bone mangoes. I, I give it a, I'd say I give it a, I give it a four. Four? Give, four out of five? I, I give it a four out of five. I'm going to reserve my fives. Four hops. Okay. I'm giving this five hops. Okay, I give it a four from a person who doesn't like IPAs. Means Not, a lot. Okay, so I would give it a strong four. I I would definitely drink this again. Oh, I'm definitely drinking this. Definitely superb. Five hops, standing on that. 
again, for for 7%, it really hides the alcohol well, I would say. Like, uh, it drinks like a 5%. Um, not too bitter, uh, which I like. Your know, IPAs tend to be a bit on the bitter side. Nice and smooth. Almost like it has some lactose, but I don't see any here on the list. There must be... Uh, like, no, it's in there. Is it? Yeah, it has lactose in it. Is it? Yeah. Nice. Milk. Lactose. Where? Yeah, that's what I'm getting. You called it. You it know your stuff. It is definitely, it definitely, the lactose is there. It gives it a nice creaminess, you know? Almost creaminess is, I like it. It, it, it blends all the flavors well, so. Uh, I hope I'm saying it right. Levente Brewing, keep up the good work with this one. Keep it coming. And uh, maybe we uh, get another beer from you guys and uh, do another review. But uh, this yeah. is good. They're onto something with this one. Levante Brewing Company? Yeah. Let's see what else you got in your Pilsners. You you, you in PA. IPA. No, if you're in NPA, oh, get oh, well, this right. IPA. If you're in P correction. If you're in PA, get this IPA. Yeah, let's see. We're, we're, we're in PA out there. Westchester, <clears throat> Westchester, PA. If you in Westchester, PA, get this IPA. So again, okay. for me, five hops. I give it a uh, give it a four. Four hops. Strong All right. Four. It's drinkable. Very drinkable. Very doable. So with that, we conclude this review on the brew. But now on to the hip hops part of the segment. <clears throat> so now. We got to get into Dave Chappelle okay. and his last special on Netflix. What are your thoughts? Um, it's a Dave Chappelle special, I would say. Uh, it has its moments. Um, but uh, what, what do you think? As far as Dave goes, in my eyes, Dave can do no wrong. Dave is a legend. But I felt it kind of dragged along as it went. It was more so like he was telling stories versus jokes. But, you know, he had to make certain points. But I came for comedy, Dave. I came to hear some crazy... Again, this is all stuff we know, and we have to speak about it. They're conversation points. But I more so felt... I felt like I was at a... A TED Talk about society doing better versus a comedy show. All right. Well, I mean... That's Dave's style of comedy, though. You know, he's gonna give you maybe a long story, you know, with the with the punchline at the end. Not not exactly my favorite form of comedy or style of stand up. Uh, I mean, yeah, Dave Chappelle's funny. He's you know, every, I mean, the numbers show that clearly, you know. But uh, it's just um. Yeah. Not, not, not my favorite special on Netflix. Again, Dave could do no wrong, <clears throat> but with this one, I guess more so, it was his. You know, hey, time to wrap it up. I'm going out. Let me shake and ruffle a couple of feathers. The the baby jokes, you know, it it was just that people. It, that, that's the reason why I watched it. I'm like, oh man, he has everybody in the uproar. What else could he? And then just in the preview alone, what you seen on the internet about the the baby. It was really not much after that. So I kind of felt, and I'm a big Dave guy, but I just felt like, oh man, this one was, it was more of a miss than a hit. I, he definitely spent a lot of time talking about the gays on this one. I would say he focused. He, he, he had to dial uh, it back excuse in. Excuse me, not just the gays, the LGBTQ plus community. He had to dial it back in. That was his okay. explanation to them. But again, <laughs> it was more of a conversation piece than a comedic piece. I felt. Maybe he was just trying to spit him out, get out this Netflix contract already, so he could chill to get all go back to living, you know, living life. You know, not everybody wants to work every day, so you know. Man, but hey, it's good for this culture. Shake it up, speak what you got to speak on, and stand on what you got to stand on. Accountability is key. So now moving along, other pandemonium all online, the Squid Games. How do you feel about the Squid Games? The Squid Games. The Squid Games, I I like the Squid Games. I'm into, first of all, I, I like some Korean films. Uh, what is it? Uh, 
uh, Last Train to Busan. Uh, that was a good one. It's a zombie zombie movie on a on the train, Korean. Uh, Squid Game is just definitely good. But uh, so anybody who knows, get in the comment section and let us know: Is the Squid Game's bigger than K-pop right about now? Because it is Korean, right? And this may c contain spoilers. Okay, this <laughs> this may contain spoilers. If you ain't watch Squid Games yet? Get out of here. Yeah. So if 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 you don't want to have any spoilers, go go Pause. ahead. Pause. No, no, no. Don't mute. Just <laughs> watch it still. Keep, keep watching. Mute. Okay, put it on mute. Um, we'll let you know when we when, when you when you see this sign, we change the subject. <laughs> okay. Um, so, uh, I mean, the ending wasn't that. I I wasn't impressed with the ending. I think I could have done without the last episode, or maybe make it the. Eight and nine, one big episode, an hour and a half, as opposed to giving me a thirty-minute episode and then a slow-paced last a hour episode. I could have done without that. Mix it up, maybe give me some excitement in the last episode. Ended on a good note. All overall, I like the twists and turns. Kept you moving. You didn't know how it was gonna end. I, I, a success, I think. Okay. W worth the hype. Worth worth the hype. My my opinion. So the Squid Games. Whole lot of memes. Which meme is your favorite meme? Mm. My favorite memes. My my favorite memes are the doctored ones, where they make the meme very specific to the subject that they're doing. But the picture that I like the most, though, that I think they put funny comments on, is the old man <laughs> in the corner. The old vet. The the old man in the corner. I think is my is my favorite. But I mean, a lot of it was like way too obvious. What and let me go back to my original point about the memes. My favorite was when they showed the 100 foot doll and they were like, imagine you playing red light, green light, you walk in the gym and you see this. Yeah, classic meme. But you have to watch the show to get that meme. So if she still hasn't watched the show, again. Oh, oh, also not a meme. I guess video, my favorite video on it is what if, what if there was black people in Squid Games? Yeah, that's okay. a good one that's too. A, that's, that's, a good, that's a good one, that's and it ends up being basketball, so you know. Man, in trouble. They, they, if you don't know how to play some ball or shoot, bank a shot, it. you you know with the black people won that round. Okay? Yeah, yeah. They won that round. Yeah. No black people will die in that round because <laughs> we all know how to mm, mm, crossover shake, <laughs> drop it in there, right. right? But back to what we were saying. Well, back to what I was saying about. Like, as I was watching it, some stuff was just, like, the obvious. Like, I already knew number one was a mole. Like, I'm like, hold on. Nah, this seems, you know? Oh, it's like, too weird. Yeah. Some of the coincidences. Yeah. I, I, I knew he was a mole, and he was part of the game. It was bigger than what the story's letting me know one. Yeah. Um, Sang Woo, if I'm saying his name right, right? Yeah. That was crazy how evil he was, man. Because Snake Face, you, like, uh. it showed you there's two kind of bad guys in this world. <laughs> The snake face, he is who he is. You know what it is when you... the, the, the guy that tells you he's a bad guy off yeah. the top, yeah, as opposed to the guy that who says betrayal, deceit, that oh, betrays man. the the good guy. What a tangled web he with, man. Oh, man. I, I, I oh. once I once heard someone once I once heard someone describe a workplace as a cesspool of snakes. <laughs> That's the same move. He 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 would thrive in a cesspool of oh, snakes. Oh man, Sangwoo's winning every time. Okay. He's winning the Hunger Games. I'm surprised <laughs> Sangwoo ain't win the Squid Games. I mean, technically, this is Korean Hunger Games. Korean. No, no Katniss. No Katniss. <laughs> but this is Korean Hunger Games is the best way I would describe it. Hunger Games success. Oh, I mean, man. it stands on its own. It stands on its own. It's not. A, it's not a Korean Hunger Games. This this movie definitely stands on its own. It it has the same type of vibes. But it also stands on its own. I don't want to make it seem like it's. it's I want to go to a dark place, man. So let's rate the deaths. Ta Sang Wu went out. What do you say? Was that justified or not justified? Without giving too much of it away. Sang Wu. I mean, I'm just going to spoil it. We're going to spoil it at this point. <laughs> but um, let me see. Sang Wu's death. I mean, that's a hardcore. That shit was hardcore. It took too long, man. From, <laughs> from after Sang Wu. I, I mean, what? It took too, too long how? Because they dressed Sang Woo up as, oh, yeah, the good guy. He went to college. His mom is proud of him. The picture's up in the shop. And he's this, he's that. He's a great catch. And Sang Woo this. And then the whole time, 
because it made you wonder, like, hold on, what's he doing amongst all these degenerates? Because they're I mean, all. I, I got that right away. Er, er, everybody, everybody had an issue. Everybody had money problems. Uh, okay, that's why I said, uh, the um, the the slap in the face was the first test. Are are you willing to pay with your body? And so you know, it's like they tell you, you, you can't pay. You couldn't pay, the the initial uh, losing the bet. So are you willing to pay with your body? And once they see you're willing to get physical harm to your face, and then, and you know, for the money, they knew they had you right there. This is a candidate for the Squid Games. So, you know, it's like, it, it, it's all the same type of people. They all, they all were, you know, in debt, willing to put their, sacrifice their body, and, and you know, and torture and, and pain to a certain level in order for the money, mm -hmm. you know, put, puts money on a certain level, you know, like, it, it's deep, you know, when you really look at it, watching it the second time was almost better than the first time, I would say. Some, you know, some some shows you got... A lot of hidden gems. Yeah. It's a lot like, of stuff you might have missed first go around. Yeah. You, you know, and, or you, you, you pick up on them the second time right. and then, you know, and, and it's, a, it's a different type of show the second time you watch it, you know. So, Snake Face, what about his death? Was that justified or... Snake face. I mean, snake face went out like he was supposed to. He, what, what, he, by a scorn lover? He crossed her. I mean, you cross anybody, they liable to come back for you. It don't matter who it is. Yeah. You know, like Perfect you, point. you cross somebody, they liable to come back. You, on this channel, you're gonna learn some life lessons. And, <laughs> and this is a life lesson here. Write this one down. Take a picture. I don't care. Record it. If you cross somebody. They liable to come for you. It's the gamble and the risk so, you take, man. It's like playing the stock market. You might win, you might lose. Snake face crossed her. She said, I'm going to kill you. She killed him. She got I loved her for that, man. She got my heart. I would have never crossed her. Like she down like that? That type of levels of being down? That's the stuff I'm hitting. You can't buy that type of loyalty. You can't buy Snake that kind face, of toxic. I love it. Snake face, you had it coming. All right. And then We'll speak on another death because we're not gonna get into too much of them. But the old man, the old man, because you didn't okay. see at the at the end, he still wanted to keep playing games, and he was just like, "Look at that guy down there, right?" And then Which I, one? the one? old man, the number one. I know, I know, but like, what situation you talking about? He like, was talking about the homeless guy that hey, well, oh, okay, to make okay, another okay, bet because okay, okay, to him okay. it was still even on his deathbed, he I mean, still was playing games. It, it, it shows when you have billions of dollars. You become a piece of shit. <laughs> like I mean, like what? Like what? Think about it. Like he's still playing games with some homeless man on his deathbed, freezing, freezing to death. This man is freezing to death. He has, He said okay. he had so much money he gave up on humanity, and and the only thing that allowed him to keep going is playing these games. Has enough money to just make a phone call and say, "Hey, uh, send 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 a car for this guy." Put him in, in in a room or something to until it warms up at the very least, and give him a meal. Instead, he's betting another. Uh, he's betting another guy. I'm gonna say another broke nigga, but he ain't broke no more. He won the oh, squid nah, he games. Won game. He's so, up. He's, he's up, up. He's betting somebody. Another another elite. He's another elite. <laughs> another elite. That's the games we playing. That's 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 the games. That's elite. the type of games we playing. But hey. you know what? We're gonna leave it at that. Hold on, hold on. Before, may I have that kind of money one day? Maybe but, we all okay and play those kind of games. <laughs> but I mean, you know, me only thing I'm playing a whole different game. But we'll get into that when I get that type of money. So, shout out to K-pop, shout out to Switch Games, shout out to Korea, man. So now, let's log out of that and log into the Facebook Chess Moves, aka Facebook Shutdown. Thoughts? Facebook Shutdown. I mean. It wasn't I, just Facebook. Facebook, they got, Instagram, they, they, WhatsApp, they, they said that they, whole umbrella. They said they, got, they said they got hacked. No no one's above being hacked. It's no one's thing. above being hacked? Yeah. I don't believe it. We all have our own theories, but I'm just going to leave it as chess moves. Chess moves for what? They, he don't... They, he's, why lose that much money? What, 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 what did they didn't lose the money. He didn't make the money. He has so much. He didn't valuation. No, no, no. Va va valuation. To lose a lot of his valuation is in stocks. So if his stocks fall, but feel his me. valuation feel falls. Me. To lose the money meant you already have it. He took a sick day. That's what that was. And I think 
Uh, maybe I, I. I don't know. He took an unpaid sick day. It was the potential earnings. What, what, what was the point then? If if okay, so what's the point? I'm still waiting to see, but I just feel his chest moves. You know what? I don't want to go too deep into this rabbit hole. I'm almost done with my beautiful IPA. But before we do that, we got to get back to the hip of the hop of the hip hops with the homebrews. Let's dial it back a little bit. Go into more Facebook. We are gonna speak on this Boosie movie and how they doing Boosie so wrong. What are your thoughts on that, man? Huh? Talk to me, man. If you ain't go see the Boosie movie yet, okay, I repeat. If you haven't gone to go see the Boosie movie yet, you go ahead to his website, download it two times, okay? After you've done that two times, go ahead and do it again, just so you, just so you have it. Boosie okay? Boo, Boosie okay? movie. Go watch that Boosie movie. All right, you all period. has a couple of classics was in there. Down, we got some C murder cameos, Pimp C cameos. You know, you got to pay attention because if you were there for that era in that time, you you know what they talking about. And then, hey, Boosie Boo could do no wrong, man. Go 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 watch go watch that Boosie movie because it's it's a good movie. We need some we need more stuff like that. More independent, okay, independent, and more black owned, more minority owned. Like let's get it, man. Let's let's, let's, let's bridge this wealth gap. And, and, and Mark Zuckerberger, okay, oh, give Boosie back his IG. Give Boosie back everything uh, Mark, that he Mark, came Mark, from. Mark Zuckerberger, please. We we need we need you, okay. Uh, Mark Zuckerberg as well. Him him, <laughs> him too, okay. Uh, give give Boosie back his IG. That's a Facebook yeah. conversation. Yeah. I don't know nothing yeah. about yeah. that. It's an IG one, man. This an IG one. This no Zuckerberger. He is that one umbrella. But, but we Facebook, talking, IG, but we WhatsApp. IG. Shout out to WhatsApp. We talking it's about the this. IG expert right here, Facebook expert. We are talking about IG here, man. Uh, Zuckerberg and Zuckerberg. Okay, Boosie needs his IG back. There's worst, there's worst people on IG right now. Okay, what what he do? He asked Drake, how, how you get banned for asking Drake to to you know to promote? Like, come on, to promote your movie. And then all of a sudden, you know what I think it was? Is that because it became, because of Drake, it, it, it became in their radar. I don't think he was in their radar, because this has got to be like his 11th Instagram now. He's at the make and remake, at least. At least. The new one's going to be 12, if it ain't even out yet. But man. it's not even about his IG, it's about his movie. Y'all go find that link, y'all go find the page, whatever it's on, with it's streaming, pay that money, man. If Boosie asks seven, ten, twenty dollars, even come on, man. Don't support. get it for free. If you got yeah. it for free, then you did it the wrong way, man. Come on, man. You support gotta... support the movie. It's on all streaming platforms, I believe. I, you know, it's on his website. Go to okay. find Boosie's website. Google is your friend. Yeah, it's on his website. Yeah. Whatever he's streaming on, let's get out there, man. Support that movie. And on another note, we're gonna keep going with these hops. But tonight is also fight night prediction. Man, I don't, I don't even got a prediction for this. I'm movie. in the same boat. Uh, uh, just so for, for y'all, see, so see, so you guys know, it's the Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder. Fury versus Wilder. Part three, three. three. <laughs> okay. So, um, I think it go either way. I think, I think Deontay Wilder won the first one. Uh, Very close I, fight. I, yeah. Very I, close fight. Yeah. I don't see how a ref. <laughs> Even called it a tie, let alone in Fury's way. But, uh, you know, it ended up being a tie. Then the second one, I mean, we, it's no, it's, there's no way around it. Yeah. Call but, a spade a spade. Yeah, we already know. We got to give it, we have to give okay. that one to Fury. So, I mean, I think it could go either way. I think this is, this could be Deontay Wilder's uh, redemption story. Redemption? You know? It it could be possibly you know because it was a bad loss in 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 part two, but it also could be Tyson Fury's, uh, just solidifying his position at the throne, I would say, and saying I I, I have this for a reason. I'm here for a reason. I have this for a reason, and you can't doubt me now. I'm pound for pound. You know what I'm saying? That's it. So, but I, I, I don't know. It could go either way, man. It, both men have something to prove. Both men have have the motivation to win. You know. So, it, I, I think it's gonna come down to conditioning and training. 
is what I think. Who who trained harder? Who worked on their conditioning? We also got who what COVID uh Tyson Fury? Was Tyson Fury on COVID or Deontay Wilder? I believe it was Tyson Fury. Tyson, Tyson Fury, Fury tested. It's COVID. postponed now because he had COVID. So I mean, did COVID have an effect? If he loses, does he use that as an excuse? No, nah, no excuses. You know what I'm saying? No, no more excuses for me. I mean, he don't seem like the type to have an excuse. No more excuses. Just but I mean, you know, like does COVID, you know, uh, have an effect on it? You know, may maybe, maybe not. You know, long term or lung capacity and you know conditioning. Uh, a boxer's fight for like uh, it's so little of an edge. You know what I'm saying? You're right. That anything could sway it, you know? So, I mean, both men are, are, are good at what they do, hey, you know? We'll leave it at his to a good fight. I don't have a dog in this fight. And we're going to see who takes it home. No more ties. Uh, no more ties, man. We can't have another tie. Like, not, not a fight this big. This this fight's too big to end with, you know, two ties in in a trilogy. That's some, now now we're talking a conspiracy here at that at that point. Like who does that? But you know, I think I think. What, what, all right, what do you think? What, what's your prediction? I honestly don't have one, but I would like I would like to see Deontay Wilder win the fight. I don't have one. It's it's super too close to call. But if I had to pick, I'm going with Wilder. I went with Wilder in the first fight. Super disappointing. Went with Wilder in the second fight. And again, what happened, happened. And then with this fight, let's see. What about you? I mean, like I said, I, I don't I don't I don't know. It could go either way. I wouldn't want to bet on this game. I mean, on, I'm sorry on this on this fight, but uh, I think it's gonna be good though. I I don't I I think Deontay Wilder comes into a smarter. I don't think he comes out in a 200 pound cape and 300 pound helmet, you know, and tired and puts it on an hour early to tire himself out for a boxing match he's about to do. Hopefully, he's smart enough to keep it, you know, like. Just, just keep it professional, you know. So, I mean, it's, we we're gonna see. I mean, right away, I think people are gonna be looking. What does he come out in? Right away, right, right away. What does he come out in? How long did he have it on? If it's something, you know. But I mean, he, he's known for coming out with something elaborate on. I mean, and what I mean elaborate, I mean like yeah, the costumes, this, the this, feathers, this, this the stuff, gold. This stuff you is know? heavy. We ain't talking about a a sombrero and a poncho, man. Or what what's 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 Mayweather? What did Mayweather used to come out in? Mayweather comes out to the best of the music, the best artists, and what one time he came out a sombrero or a poncho. And a poncho, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the Cinco de Mayo. But you well, know, that's not what I was. Yeah, about. but let's dial it back to Wilder Fury, the second fight. You know, I, I don't know who he thought he was. He probably thought he was Goku or Piccolo, and he came out with weighted, you know? He had it on, what, 30 minutes before? It doesn't even matter, man. Like, like that can wait. No, no, out. but I mean, by the by fifth or sixth round, gassed. Yeah. Gassed. Yeah. Vis visibly gassed by the by the fifth, sixth round. But that's, so, no, that's nobody's fault but that, his. That, yeah, and that's out of character. Yeah, that's, that's nobody's you know? fault but his. His trainers for riding the wave hype too long, you know, like, nah, you don't do that. You don't do yeah. that because you give the other guy an advantage. Why would you tire yourself out like that? <sighs> yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't see how he wasn't thinking. I mean, this, I don't know. Maybe there was pay per view and 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 maybe things dragged on a little bit. And I, I, I don't know. Somebody wasn't thinking in this corner though, in the, in his camp because it just. It wasn't a smart decision. Maybe he didn't think something like that would tire him out. Clearly, it did because in that kind of sport, when you're playing on that kind of level, I mean, it, any edge is makes the difference. And clearly, it made the difference halfway through the match. Like he was gassed. You see it in his face. He got rocked a few times, and then I think I think he lost he lost it in his head already. Like halfway through, 
Oh, and a busted eardrum. Let's not forget the busted eardrum. Fucked up his whole equilibrium. <laughs> yeah, yeah, jello legs. He looked like a newborn deer. Well, J jello legs, man. Hopefully that doesn't happen tonight. They figure it out. They come with a better game plan. I just want a great fight. And we'll see what happens when we get there. But we will let you know again. This is Glitter Parts Mango Colada IPA from Levante Brewing Company. Again, salute. And we're gone. What it do? Good brew.